Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashton, and thanks for coming to my channel. So, it's a sad night for me. Tonight, I lost somebody in my life. Not a close friend, but I definitely lost a friend, and this is a whole new chapter for me, because I never thought that I would be going through something like this, or just having to experience this um so as you like a lot of you guys know if you're if you've been following my channel um i moved about i moved to this new apartment about six months ago um maybe like five months ago or six months ago i'm not sure but in my old apartment i had a neighbor and his name was andrew and andrew was a great guy he was energetic and you know talkative and outgoing and just like a really good neighbor like I could ask him to check on my place or like just keep an eye out on thing an eye out for me like when I wasn't there because you know like I would travel a lot and um when I had a little dog there'd be times when I couldn't always get home he would go over take my dog out like he was a really really good good guy um he was you know ch okay so here's the thing about andrew andrew had some demons so he liked to drink um he was an alcoholic and he had an addiction to drugs um I don't know what drugs for sure, and I know he didn't smoke weed around me per se, um, but like, I know he liked cocaine, and I'm not sure what else, but like, I didn't even know this until like, I lived beside Andrew for maybe three months, until the first, the first time when I found out about it. He, uh, cause Andrew was a cut, he was a cutter and he would get depressed. Um, sorry, this is just really taking me back. Um, and I didn't know about this, like I say, for three or four months. Um, the first three or four months that he lived beside me, but like, he would get depressed and he would go into these states of depression and bouts of depression where he would, um, drink profusely do her drugs and then cut his wrists and it was so sad because like honestly one of the nicest guys like you would ever meet he would do anything for you like help you in whatever way he could and uh, it's just so sad like so I would see him from time to time after I moved out. We we actually built a relationship up um, in terms of like talking. He would come over to my house. Like I would have friends over for parties. I would always invite Andrew. Like I was really trying to just, I was really trying to get him involved with a good crowd because I, I hang around with a tremendous group of people who, you know, for the most part are working professionals and like, young and just grinding and living their best lives well well just like achieving a, a good quality of life living we live our best lives live our best lives in terms of career going after goals that we want and just i surround myself with truly good people and i can say that very confidently and i really wanted that for andrew but i don't know if he saw that for himself. I'm not, I'm not going to say he didn't want it for himself, but he didn't see it for himself. And that really breaks me. It really crushes me because, like, I just, you know, I know he had it in him. And Andrew, we talked a lot. Like, he went through some things, like, as a child. I'm not going to say what happened or what he went through, but, like, he went through things, um, as we all do. And, you know, unfortunately, like, it really stayed with him and you know I guess the main like what I'm trying to say is like just talk to somebody because you never like and I know it's easy to say talk to somebody but like I don't know 
it's just really it's just really crazy but like people want to help you if you're going through through something i know it's hard to comprehend and to understand but there are people who will help you like there's always somebody no matter how bad your situation is <sighs> like just reach out for help man like it's like it's just pivotal it's paramount that you reach out for help because suicide is like no joke like it's it's no joke I mean it, I can't imagine what he was going through or thinking I can't and it's easy for me to sit here and say that with a clear mind and clear conscience but uh, it just it doesn't need to there's no situation where you should have to do that talk to somebody and again it's easy for me to say and I'm not you know I I felt like something like this was gonna happen to Andrew and I'm surprised it to be honest didn't happen sooner like I didn't hear about this sooner but then like he started doing so well and I was so happy and you know I moved out we kept in contact not close touch but like we kept in contact and like you know he was doing so well it seemed he had turned his life around somewhat um he was enrolled to become a nurse um to go to school for nursing like he just had dreams and he he was going to follow them but then he slipped back into his boat of depression and unfortunately it was a wave that he wasn't able to conquer and it's just so sad it really is. I actually had the pleasure of seeing him about a week ago and just sporadically because I knew when Andrew was in a good mindset he was very physically active. He would go jogging, bicycling, um, walking, like he was, he was a real inspiration to me. You guys watch my channel so you know I struggle with weight loss and physical activity and just eating right but like truly such an inspiration and he like you know he was always so willing to help me and just <sighs> he was he was a good guy he was he was a very good guy and he did not deserve to have that happen to him it breaks my heart it really does so I just felt that Andrew deserved a video. Um, I felt like, I, I just felt like, and I felt like a message needed to be delivered. Like, I don't care what you're going through. If I don't know you, like, nobody, I, I feel so bad because I, I've never, I can't really confidently sit here and say that I've actually felt depressed I I there's not a time I can think of and I feel so blessed to be able to say that but like it must be terrible and I know it's a real thing and I just I just please I just beg people to reach out for help like honestly reach out for help I know as hard as that sounds because I just don't want to see, like, what happened to you, what what happened to Andrew happened to any of you or anybody around me, like, that's the problem with this world, we need to just help each other more, embrace, we need to embrace each other, like, and just acceptance, like, nobody should be made to feel any type of way or, you know, or to be made to feel the odd man out like it's just not cool it's not cool and I just want to dedicate this video to Andrew and his family and friends and you know he was going to different meetings I saw him trying to get help but he he couldn't conquer his uh, his demon he um, went to you know he went to rehab did the long stints at rehab a few times and he would come out and do so wonderful like and I I don't know what happened um, but this time he wasn't able to conquer the wave 
So I just want to light a candle for Andrew because he is so deserving of that. Very deserving of that. Shining, I'm a white light blind.